the press in England believes that uh, a writer going abroad is trying to escape taxation. This is not true. I mean, every writer pays taxes wherever he publishes. Uh, but uh, there was a sense that England had become a foreign country, that because we were Catholics and England was Protestant, we felt more at home in France, Italy, than in, uh, than in England. Uh, there's also another fact which people very rarely take into account. That is, if you're writing in the English language, you can best write in it if you separate the language from the people who speak it. So that to write in English when you're surrounded by Italian or German or French is uh, a better thing to do than if you're living in the country where the language is spoken all the time. England never has liked its authors too much. It's never taken literature seriously. And uh, as far as the state is concerned, the government is concerned, I think it fears writers. It, writers tell the truth, and governments don't tell the truth. So at least England is honest enough to admit that. Uh, when you uh, have in England twice a year the honours list, when people are made into sir this, sir the other thing, lord so and so, it's usually jockeys or football players who become lords and knights, writers know. Right to the dangerous.